Hello, how are you today? Carl here. Excited to be with you for another Fit Family Weekly, our weekly show where we come to you live from Fit Family Headquarters, per se, which is our house because we work from home half the time. And uh, we really like to just spend some time with you every week and make sure that you have what you need to become healthier, happier, more confident, and more connected as an individual, um, as a family, and uh, with your community. So tonight, we're going to be talking about some really, really fun stuff. We're going to be talking about how to become a better parent. And it's not what you think. Uh, we're going to go over that a little bit. And uh, I'm going to share a few things with you that I do to create more time in my life so I can be a parent. And I'm new to it, so I'm not an expert by any means. But when I have more time, I have more time to invest into my son into my spouse to learn the lessons uh, to get better and better and better. So if you want more time as a parent, then stay with me for the next 20-ish so minutes. We're going to go over some really fun stuff that you're going to love. Uh, with that, I got my computer set up right here. It's, you can't see it. It's out of screen. Um, but if you have questions, I'm going to do my best to update this uh, to uh, be able to answer your questions uh, live tonight. But if you're with us right now and you're a first timer, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so excited you decided to Take some time out of your busy schedule to be with us. We appreciate you very much. If you've been here before, uh, go ahead and type in the comment section where you're from. I want to acknowledge you again for being here with us tonight. So uh, lastly, um, I'm just excited to be here. So we're going to go over some really fun stuff. Let's, let's see. Okay, I'm just scrolling down to where I'm live so I can see it and then we'll be good to go. So go ahead and write where you're from, like I said, and I'm going to be asking you some questions throughout this live session. Uh, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to be teaching, I'm going to be sharing, and you're going to get the most out of it when you participate. So when you ask questions that you have, when you comment, uh, when you are fully engaged, you're going to get the most, most out of it. And if you don't have a paper and pencil, you're going to want to have that tonight because I'm going to give you some rock solid stuff to be able to create more time in your life uh, to be a better parent and, or to do whatever you want with it. If you're not a parent, this will still apply to you. So get a paper and pencil. We're going to rock and roll tonight. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, let's see who is with us. We got a few people. Yodas, thanks for, thanks for commenting. Um, and we're going to keep rolling here. Okay, so <clears throat> one last little tidbit. Sorry. <laughs> one last little tidbit. This Thursday, actually, we are coming out with a brand new program uh, for you that is called the Food and Support Webinar, and it is a weekly webinar we're going to have on Thursday nights for the first time people that we've never you know, had a chance to get to know a little bit better, um, or it'll be an opportunity for us to get to know each other a little bit better, but tonight, or Thursday night, excuse me, is the first night we're going to have it, so it's going to be super exciting you're going to get a lot, a lot of information on that webinar from nutrition to uh, modeling as parents to uh, strategies and becoming happier and healthier. So after I'm done today, I'm going to post a link for the webinar on our page. Make sure to register for that. It's totally free. You're going to learn a ton from it. You're going to get more and more and more. So every week moving forward, every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, we're going to be live like we are right now. And then every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, we are going to do a live webinar where we're going to do some more teaching. And it's going to be uh, aimed for first-time people that have, uh, haven't been able to you know, get some of the in-depth stuff and learn more about Fit Family and how we can serve you better. So anyways, let's get started. So how to become a better parent is not what you think. Okay, I'm not Like I said earlier, I'm not a parent expert. I'm actually right now, this is kind of interesting, I'm listening to Love & Logic. It's a parenting book. Uh, I'm listening to it on audio CD as I drive to and from work every single day, learning a ton. If you've read that book before, write Love & Logic in the comment section uh, and tell me what your takeaway from the book was because I want to hear it. Because like I said, I'm becoming learning how to be a better parent. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're ambitious. You are too. Uh, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and write that in. Um, and again, I'm just going to watch this live here. So that's a really good book so far. So anyways... I'm not here to be a parent expert because I'm learning, but I am here to share my one-page productivity sheet with you. And the reason why that's relevant to parenting is, here's my thought process, is if you have more time to be a parent, 
to be present with your kids, to invest in your kids, to you know have more time to invest into your learning about be a parent, read more books, go to more seminars, listen to more audios, talk to all the parents and learn lessons from them about what works, what doesn't work with their kids. If you have more time to do that, you can inherently be a better parent. And being a better parent is a big deal. One of my uh, beliefs and uh, Brooks beliefs is, uh, in our family is, you know, your kids are one of your biggest legacies. Your kids speak so loudly about what you believe because they mimic and duplicate everything that you do, everything that you say, and they're literally like miniature versions of you. So if you want insight into how you are, sometimes we don't always see ourselves in the same lens as other people see us. If you want an insight in terms of how you behave, how your attitude is, look at your kids because um, they're going to be a good reflection of that uh, to an extent. So. We're gonna share the one page productivity with you tonight. And this, I have to be uh, totally transparent, is not something that I came up with. I learned it at a productivity seminar called High Performance Academy. And it was put on by Brendan Bouchard. I don't know if you've heard that name before, but he is uh, phenomenal in a lot of different areas, one of which is productivity. It was a four day seminar in San Diego. So I literally paid for an airplane ticket to and from San Diego. Four, four, five nights and four days of hotel rooms, plus a really high price ticket. Uh, just to go to the seminar, it was multiple four, it was like, I don't know, a few thousand dollars just to go, just for the ticket to get in, to learn how to be more productive in my life. So this strategy is from that seminar in February of last year when I went. So it's extremely valuable. He's taught it to tens of thousands of people um, that have all gone to that seminar. So. I just tell you that to put some backing behind what I'm going to share with you that this works. I use this every single day, every single week, and this will create more time for you if you use it. Okay. And again, the frame of this one page productivity sheet in our context is to be able to help you become more productive, more efficient, to get more done in less time so you can invest that into becoming a better parent or whatever you uh, want to do if maybe you're not a parent and still applies to you because you can get um, a lot of out of it. Let me just make sure this marker works. Great. Okay, so here's kind of how this goes. Every single night I will fill out my one page productivity sheet for the following day so I know exactly what I'm doing, uh, who I need to reach out to, who I need to communicate with, what are my priorities for the day, what are the projects I'm working on. I'm going to show you all of that right here. And then also, I do this every single week and in a more of a broader sense of what do I want to get done in the week? Okay, what are the projects I'm working on? What are the next steps in the projects? Uh, who do I need to reach out to to make the projects move forward? You know, what are my priorities for the week? And actually every month I do it from a wider standpoint. So I break it down, I do this for the month and then every single week I do this for the week and then every single day I do it for the day the night before I go to bed. So when I wake up, I know exactly what I'm doing. In my calendar, this is a key, I want you to write this down if you're taking notes tonight. My calendar reflects this sheet. So this isn't a calendar, right? This isn't like six to seven, I'm, I'm waking up and eating breakfast, seven to eight, I'm with my kids, eight to five, I'm at work. That's not what this is. This is more of a structure and I take this structure and stick it in my calendar based on my priorities, what I need to get done for that day. Does that make sense? If, if, you're, if you're driving with me right now and you're excited to learn about productivity, right? I'm excited in the comment section. Even if that sounds cheesy to you, I want you to write, I'm excited and put it out there because you're going to get a lot out of this. I have in my life for the last year. It's been unbelievable. So cheers to that. Okay, let me update us live and see if anyone else commented. I know Sarah was, Sarah was commenting early on her Facebook page. I'm sure you're with us right now, Sarah. How are you? Okay, so <clears throat> here's the first thing that we do, okay, in the one page productivity sheet. Again, to create more time so you can invest that in becoming a better parent or whatever you, your interests are, is you write your projects at the top, okay? So I do it like this, uh, not in any particular order. You could order it if you wanted to. This is not in particular order, but this is project number one. Okay, next one is project number two. And this third is obviously project number three. Right, that makes sense. Maybe if I use purple or black, it'll stick out a little more for you so it's not all blended in. 
Got so many colored markers, it's sweet. I kind of geek out on this kind of stuff, so bear with me here. Okay, one, two, three. Hopefully that didn't help and didn't make it more confusing. Okay, project one, two, three. Now, here's what you write underneath that, okay? And these are the projects you're working on. So maybe it's a project at work, maybe it's a project at home. For me, I a lot of what burns, not burns up, but um, I spend my time doing during the day is uh, stuff for our businesses because that's what drives income for our family. That's what helps us move forward and grow as people. And so for me, a lot of times, two of the three are business. One of them is personal. So how, whatever, however that works for you, obviously. But I, you, I list... The next five things under each project are what needs to get done to make it move forward. Okay, they could be things that need to get done that day, they could be things that need to get done that week. They're always for me things that need to get done that month. So I have five things that I list things the next five things that I can that I can do to make that project move forward. Here's an example. Um, right now in our local nutrition business. Uh, it's a nutrition club called The Burn, and people come in, if, you, if you're new with us and, and you haven't heard the story yet, people come into our local nutrition club and they, there's a smoothie bar and they order healthy meal replacement smoothies, and they're so delicious, they taste like ice cream, but they're like cookies and cream, and they're like wild berry flavor. Uh, God, the one I just had this month was called Coco Love, it was like a sea salt, almond, chocolate, caramel mix, and it's so good, and it's healthy for you, okay? So, uh... Anyways, that's our local business and we're changing locations right now, okay? So we're in the middle of this project, build out is happening, construction is happening, and so I'm not personally doing the construction this time, the first time I did, this time we hired a contractor, but I'm communicating with the contractor uh, and the project manager, project manager literally like every day on supplies and on getting things there and helping making the things move forward. So for me, one of these things would be called the burn and I would have the five next things that need to happen for us to make a move forward. For example, for me, so one of the things I did yesterday that helped me move forward was ordered uh, vinyl plank yoga flooring. So in our new yoga studio, in our new location, there's room for yoga and we needed flooring. So I needed to get the subfloor and the actual vinyl plank for that and order it and all that stuff. So anyways, that's just an example of what I mean by that for the projects. But three projects, next five things, okay? Now below that, I kind of create a little line here, whoop, just like this. And if you have questions on this as we're moving forward, please feel free to ask them, okay? There's no dumb question. There's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of things that can happen from asking questions. And the next thing that, that this is going to be, just checking the live here, okay? This, the next thing is people you need to reach out to and people you're waiting on. So people is kind of the big thing here. Projects is kind of the big thing here. People, projects, okay? And then there's actually going to be a line, and there's going to be priorities. So just FYI, priorities. And again, if you're just joining us, this is a one-page productivity sheet that helps me get more done in less time. You can use this to have more time to invest in your kids, invest in your spouse, become better parents, become a better spouse, uh, or spend it doing whatever interests you. When I do this and I have more time, then I do it a lot of time spent with my family. So that's what I do. People, there's two categories here though. There's people you need to reach out to. Reach out to. And then there's usually, I don't know, two or three or however many bullets. And then people you are waiting on. Usually for projects, there's more than one person involved. Usually just not your, more than just yourself. So a lot of times for me in a business project like the burn I was talking about today, we're moving locations. We have a project manager I'm communicating with. We have a, a contractor I'm communicating with. And so a lot of times there'll be this back and forth communication like I'll email one and wait, wait to hear back or I need to reach out to one and answer their question from the day before. So this, when I fill this out, I write their names in and it just reminds me of who I need to reach out to. If I have clients I need to reach out to or people that I have commitments to that I need to... Uh, finish up, I'll write their names down here, or who I'm waiting on to hear from, I'll write their names down here so I can remember what's all the communication processes that are happening. So that's the second part of it. This is uh, people you need to reach out to, people you're waiting on in the projects that you're working on, okay? 
And then your priorities is you take this and this, and then you write down your priorities for that day. Or if this is a week productivity sheet, then write your priorities for the week. What I do is I'll write this for the week, and then for the day, I'll write, um, today is Tuesday, right? I'll write Tuesday, 131, and then I'll have one for Wednesday, and then I'll have one for Thursday, and so on and so forth, okay? So Wednesday would be 2-1, and then on each one, I have a bunch of bullet points of things I need to get done, and I'll even categorize them with the projects down here and the people down here too, but if you want to make it simple, you can just list all the things that you need to get done for the day. These are the things you have to get done that day. In other words, you cannot go to bed until you get this done, okay? I want you to type in the number seven in the comment section right now if you've ever had something you needed to get done, but your thought process was, ah, oh, that can wait till tomorrow. Ah, oh, it's not that big a deal. Oh, I'll send them a text in the morning, right? And what happens with that mindset, with that energy, with that attitude, is that things keep getting pushed back. We've developed this habit of procrastination, and that does not serve us in getting things done or creating more time. And actually, when things drag on, it, it actually clogs up our mental clarity, our mental space, and that actually drains our energy because we're using more of our energy to make decisions on things that should have already been done or thinking about things that should have already been done when we could have taken that mental energy and invested it into our kids or our spouse or other projects that need to get done. Does that make sense? So these are the things you have to get done before you go to bed at night. And that's so important. The one mistake I've made personally in this area on the third part of this one page productivity sheet is... I'll put too much on the list and, and I'll, I won't know it at the time, but I'll set myself up for failure. So there'll be so much on the list, I won't be able to get it done with the time allocated. So let's say there's five tasks in each tasks. If I'm thinking about it, I know we'll probably take a half hour to an hour, but I only have two hours of white space in my calendar for the day or free space to get it done. So I, in other words, I need to condense five hours worth of work into two hours. That doesn't always work out. So be aware, be conscious of how much you put down. There's a fine balance of not putting too few things on, so you're procrastinating, but also not putting too many on, so you're not setting yourself, for, setting yourself up for failure continuously. Because when you do that two or three, four days in a row, you kind of develop this, this bad attitude of like, it's not gonna work. So you just kind of give up, right? That happens all the time. So this, sheet, this page is our one page productivity sheet that will create more time for you if you use it. This is from, again, this is not my deal. This is from Brandon Bouchard. I learned that at one of his seminars called High Performance Academy. Go check it out. You're going to love it. Um, it does cost a little bit of uh, money. There's an investment there to go to something like that. But this was one of like 50 things I pulled from the four days. So it was totally worth it. This page for me helps me stay focused, helps me stay on track, and honestly helps me to create more time that I can use to invest in, like I said, how to become a better parent. And so that's what I meant in the beginning of the video when I said it's not what you think. Like I'm not gonna lecture you on how to be a parent, right? That's for you to figure out. You can use philosophies and um, ideas from other people, but every kid's different, your beliefs are different. So I was more trying to tonight help you with creating more giving you some strategies and tactics that can help you be more productive during the day. So what maybe used to took you eight hours, you can get done in six. Or what used to take you five hours, you can get done in three. And thus creating extra time during your day to invest it into your kids or whatever you like to do. So anyways, I'm gonna check really quick in the live what we're watching, uh, see if there's any comments or questions. Uh, make sure we're serving you in that way. And as that's loading, I just wanna uh, plug a reminder here, a little, um, self-promotion, if you will, uh, Thursday night, okay? If you want to learn more about specific uh, blueprint and, and way in which we help people lose weight and increase their energy and feel better, we're going to go over that system and that process on Thursday night. It's totally free. It's a free webinar. So if you're sitting there right now and you want to learn more, you want to increase your energy, you want to feel better, this is for you. Thursday night is for you. 
If right now you're not really focused on, you don't want to feel better, you feel pretty good, and you don't want to increase your energy, uh, you don't have any weight to lose, you don't have, you don't want to gain any muscle, basically you're 100% satisfied with how you feel every day, how you look, and your confidence level, then Thursday is not for you. However, if you are not 100% satisfied in how you look, how you feel, and your confidence level, Thursday night is for you. So there's going to be a link above this video in a few minutes that's going to uh, bring you to a, a registration page that you can register for Thursday's webinar. It's going to be at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. And as a little teaser, we're going to introduce uh, a concept that you've maybe heard before, but we're going to do it in a brand new way that I think you're going to love. And it's going to be a group challenge based uh, uh, way in which we go about uh, go about it. But it's going to be in a way that I don't think you've ever seen before and um, is brand new to me. And I've done a lot of things in this industry. We've helped a lot of people and we can help you too if you're focused and ready to go. Even if you just want to get on the webinar and learn more because you're interested and you're like me, you're an educator or you like to learn, you like to advance your knowledge, you like to try new things get on and check it out because you're going to love it. So, okay, let me check to see if anyone left any comments. Uh, we had a bunch of people on tonight. we got a few live right now. So if you're with me right now, I just want to say thank you so much. Go ahead and post in the comment section. Did this help? Did you? Is this new information for you? I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback on how this all lands. And if you have questions on this, if you have questions on the project part, the people part, or the priorities part, I honestly just keep it this simple every single day and fill it out just like I, I told you. And again, I do a one-page productivity sheet, one for the month, one for each week, and one for each day. And if you want to, you can actually print out pieces of paper and fill them out. I do it on my computer in a program called Evernote. It's a really sweet app for uh, taking notes, so you may want to check that out. Um, but hopefully this helps you. Uh, every single Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, we get on like this to be live with you, to spend time with you to serve you in is any way we can. And what I mean by that is everyone's going to receive this message differently. So whatever this message today did for you, that's exactly what it was supposed to do. And just embrace that feeling, embrace that experience and utilize it moving forward. If you do that every single week, you're going to make a ton of progress in your life. And that's really our goal is to help you become healthier, happier, more confident and connected with your family and uh, spouse and community in general. So Thank you very much if you're with us um, and toss me a uh, thumbs up or toss me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But like I said, thanks for your attention. We do not take that lightly that you take time out of your schedule to make it for Fit Family, to spend in the community, and to really move your, your uh, health and wellness forward. So anyways, thanks for your attention. Thanks for your time. We will be here to next Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And don't miss out on the webinar on Thursday. Look for the link above this video in a few minutes. I'm going to post it. But besides that, thank you so much. Hopefully this helped. Love to hear your thoughts. Peace.